Morning. Hey, this video is uh, specifically for, for Brian, um, just so you can hopefully get a few ideas from my latest uh, revised design of the Wild Side Hot End. Um, so what I wanted to show you here is the simplified uh, construction. Let's see if we can get this focused in. So uh, the main thing about my Wild Side Hot End is that it uses a PTFE rod uh, for the structural support so this actually goes into the into the extruder body um, and you know you can find other videos where I've tapered that down but basically the hole um, is four millimeters okay so a lot bigger than the filament that travels down through there and that reduces the um, the contact between the filament and the PTFE rod as it becomes warmer further down in the tube now down at the very very bottom of the rod uh, the hole is not four millimeters it's actually three millimeters um, and actually I, I heat up the hot end and drill that last bit out um, even after I assemble it uh, because the PTFE tends to squish in there and it actually makes the hole very very small and that tends to bind the filament um, so the trick is to get it to be a sort of a watertight barrier if you will uh, before the melt pot but other than that um, you know you want you want it to be tight but not so tight that it totally binds everything and causes the filament to bend up in the cold end of the of the nozzle now I have my um, my brass uh, coupling here I've actually cut it off right here at this point there's nothing else from the brass fitting entering the aluminum block it's all this I've actually taken off the other part and put a, th a quarter inch thread in there and this tip that you see now is not the MIG tip anymore this is actually a quarter inch brass screw that I have uh, screwed in from the other end of the, of the brass coupling here so I've, I've screwed it in from this side and then I've threaded my aluminum block with a quarter inch and I've put a an M3 or an M4 set screw in and it's slightly off center so that I don't crush anything uh, on the way in and that's it and then I uh, use some of those tiny drill bits to uh, drill the end and then I shaped and I shaped the uh, the nozzle tip but uh, the design works extremely well at uh, keeping the filament from getting hot before it enters the melt pot and that really seems to be uh, the trick to eliminating jams in the in the cold area uh, is to eliminate or reduce, minimize the contact between the filament and the hot end itself uh, before it enters the part where we want it to melt. So hopefully you can get some good ideas from that and feel free to comment. Now back to the IRC channel.